Hello and welcome to Savvy Gadgets on this tutorial about decrypting in Cyberpunk 2077. This is a mini game that you will come up against often. Now we're going to take a look at the spell um, book from the mission that Nyx gives us uh, from the afterlife and we need to decrypt this and here we have to actually make a decision on what we actually want. There are four different sequences to get four different uh, pieces of information out of them, but we can only achieve two of them. So, we obviously want the bottom two. Now, each one of these consists of four sequences from this code matrix. Every time we put one of these in, it all shifts to the right for the next item in the buffer. Now, at this point you're going to say, well, hang on, wait a minute, you've got seven inputs in the buffer, but you've got eight different pieces of code to put in. Now that's fine because they link together. As soon as you go, say if we did this sequence, we went BD, E9, BD, 55, you, the 55 is also for here as well. So you, you are only putting in seven out of those eight. So the 55 counts twice, basically. So you've got plenty of time to figure your way through this. You can take as long as you like. And you can even exit and do it later on. But what you want really is to get the bottom two because they will give you the best that's if you care for those if you want those that's great figure a path out for those and i'm going to figure a path out to do that or you could just go for the first two it depends on what you want from this particular mini game so what we're going to do is we're going to figure our way through this to get ourselves the best possible outcome which is these bottom two pieces right so we have to put in the sequence BD, E9, BD, 55. We then have to, because the 55 counts twice, put in 1C, FF, BD, and that fills up our seven slots in the buffer. So we need to work our way through this matrix and input that sequence. So BD, E9, BD, 55, 1C, FF, BD. Now, to add, to the complications when you start picking the uh, item sequences from the code matrix the timer counts down so you are time limited but at this point because we haven't chosen anything to start our sequence off we have time to do it so we're going to start with this one i'm going to start off with this uh, data mine copy of malware data mine crafting specs so we want bd now we have to start on the top row and the way that this works is the moment I press this, the next time I select something, it will be from this line. So it swaps from going horizontal to vertical. And then the next time it swaps back to vertical and then back to horizontal. So it flip-flops between the two. So we need to find a path which takes us from this top row down, then across, then up and across and down and across. Okay? So, there's only one BD to choose from, so and that's this one. So if we select that one, we then want E9. Now there's two options here, we go with E9 here or E9 here, neither of those is fine. They get the next sequence in the code, but further on we could come into trouble. So if we take this one at the bottom, the next code we want is BD. So we go BD, E9, BD. Okay, great. But now we need a 55 and we now need to go up. And sure enough there it is there's a 55 great so that's our first sequence done now the 55 also triggers the bottom sequence the 55 1c ffbd so we're now looking because we've already hit the 55 the 1c now we've got a couple of choices now we could go here for 1c uh, then we need an ff okay so there is an ff that's great but once we've got ff we need to go across and there's no bd Okay, so back here. So if we go for this 1C, so that's 55, 1C, uh, FF, fantastic. But now we've run into a secondary problem. When we initially put in the first sequence, the BD, E9, BD, we went BD, E9, O, BD. So we're now here on the second code and we have no BD. So we know that that is wrong. So our first sequence was wrong, so we need to go back to the start. 
And this time, we're going to go with this E9. So we're going to go BD, E9, then across to BD, fantastic, up to the 55, which completes the first code and triggers the second sequence. Then we go from 55 across to 1C. We can then go down to FF and then go to the BD there, and that completes both of these two sequences, getting us the copy of the malware and the crafting specs. So here it goes. So BD going down, E9, across to BD, up to 55, across to 1C, and we can see that the first one's installed now. So we now see that 55 is inputted on the second one. Go 1C, and we need FF, and if you notice, the other two have now failed. We don't care about those. This is why we have to make the choice. And then we've got the last one, BD, job done. That's the best result you can get out of that. And you've got the nice bits from that. You've got the, cold, the uh, malware and the crafting spec. So thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope that's made uh, things a lot more clearer to you. It certainly helped me a lot by working through this and understanding how it works. So, thank you, uh, see you in the next video, and keep watching my live stream for a uh, playthrough of Cyberpunk 2077, and don't forget to check out our Facebook page where I put up some embarrassing mistakes that have happened in the game. Thanks for watching, until the next one, bye bye.